Madam President, I'm here to call on the Senate leadership to bring up the Water Resources Development Act, the word of bill. Uh, it needs to come up soon for consideration because right now in Florida, we are facing a massive environmental and economic crisis and it's so sweeping that it brings up the memories of the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill, the BP oil spill. Because right now, neon green slime is clogging the Caloosahatchee River on the west coast and the St. Lucie River on the east. <coughs> Madam President, I've been to Stewart, Stewart on the east coast I've smelled the stench of toxic algae choking the waterways. I've talked to mothers and grandparents who are worried about exposing their children to the harmful toxins. And they're concerned about that if they get anywhere near. That's why we wrote to the CDC asking for health care guidance. I've met with business owners who have literally had to close up their shops because of the algae. If they're a fishing boat captain, obviously that is what happens. If they are a bait and tackle shop, you get the picture. But if the stench of algae is so bad in the location of a shop, whatever its business, they still have to close up, and it's not right. It's not fair for the hardworking fishing guides, the restaurant employees, the, anybody that uh, has a business with re regard to our beautiful beaches and people enjoying the natural bounty. All are being affected through no fault of their own. And then uh, that's on the East Coast, on the West Coast of Florida. Our white sand beaches aren't as crowded with tourists. But with what? The rancid corpses of fish. This is the puffer fish. This is on one of Southwest Florida's beaches. The turtles, the casualties from massive noxious red tide, and this event, a bacteria that occasionally appears in the Gulf of Mexico and moves, this year it's moved very close to the shore, but it's lasted for 10 months and counting. Hotels and restaurants are half full. Boat captains are facing one cancellation after another. Madam President, look at this. This is on a beach also. 267 tons of dead fish and sea life have been removed from about 150 miles of Florida's world-renowned beaches, and that's just this year alone. These pictures are horrifying enough, but go there. It's even worse in person. Now, the local governments have spent a lot of money going out, cleaning up the beaches. It's absolutely heartbreaking what has happened. I'm a fifth generation Floridian, and I've never seen it this bad. I've never seen our beautiful beaches covered like this. And that's why Senator Rubio and I are pushing so hard for the water resources bill. It includes a critical project to address the algae by providing additional water storage for Lake Okeechobee so that the Army Corps doesn't have to discharge so much to the east and west. And it also, very importantly, 
authorizes a reservoir south of Lake Okeechobee along with stormwater treatment areas that can help clean up the water so they can send the water there into the reservoir that is in the St. Lucie on the east. This reservoir is on the west near LaBelle so that they can send the water in there, store it, start to treat it, and then let it go as the natural flow going south to the Everglades. This project in the Water Resources Development Act is part of the historic Everglades restoration effort that so many of us have worked so long and so hard to advance. It's just one piece, but it's one that absolutely cannot wait. And if we don't act soon, I'm afraid there won't be much of an environment in South Florida left to save. I urge the majority leader to schedule a vote on the word of bill as soon as possible. And I urge my colleagues to support the water resources bill when it comes to the floor of the Senate. Madam President, I yield the floor.